Hey everybody, this is Brandon Wells and I'm here today to walk you through a cool new feature in Rapatoni uh, to help you get some statistical information and data uh, from the board at a minute's notice whenever you may need it. If you'll notice up here at the top, there's a new menu item called Trends. If you click on Trends, you're gonna get a pop-up box. It'll take a second to load. And then once you get in here, you're gonna basically be able to create graphs and charts of statistical data uh, to help you post it on a blog, to help you use it in your marketing materials, uh, to even present it as part of your listing presentation. And I'll kind of walk you through quickly some of the options. Um, so up here you have the ability to email, print, there's a help section, and there's also a tutorial section that will help walk you through how to navigate around in here. On the left hand side, you would select your region. So you have Albuquerque, Rio Rancho, East Mountains, Valencia County, or other outlying areas. So for this demo, I'm just gonna leave it on Albuquerque. And then you can select all of Albuquerque, or if you wanted to narrow it down to a certain MLS area, you could come and choose uh, one of the certain MLS areas. We're gonna go ahead and just do it for the Albuquerque region. You can select a specific zone atlas, or if you wanted to do it by zip code, you can do it by zip code. You go then go down and you do some filtering for the property. Uh, so you can say what type of property it is, detached, attached, or manufactured. Um, if it's a short sale, you can classify it as that. If you wanna select a price range or a square footage range, as well as do custom dates for what you're trying to get some information for. So this is a great tool to help you generate some information uh, to go along with your CMA uh, to really emphasize some points you're trying to make on pricing strategy or what the competition looks like. So up here at the top, you have these sub-menu items, uh, for sale versus sold. So here's a chart displaying how many houses are for sale in the entire Albuquerque region versus how many houses have sold. Um, and then the pending line is the triangle with the red line through it, showing us how many houses have pended that month. Um, and you can kind of follow along with all the statistical data there. Now there's charts. Um, down on the bottom, if you want just a more graphic display or less graphic display and more numbers, you can see the numbers charts down here. Or if you just want to look at it in the graph format, you can do that. If you want to save the graph to print off, you just click on Save Graph uh, and go ahead and print it off and you can incorporate it in any material you'd like to. And then over on the right hand side, it's going to show you all of the items that you've selected from these left hand columns. So you can get a quick snapshot of what exactly you're searching here. And then you have a drop down box right here that allows you to change um, you know, what shows up. So like if I wanted to get rid of pended and just do for sale versus sold, um, there's the for sale versus sold graph. Uh, and again, I could change the date range if I wanted to. You can also do an average price per square foot for the entire Albuquerque area, or if I wanted to go uh, pin it down closer in a specific area, I can do that over here. Uh, days on market is the sold uh, versus list price percentage. So you can see as days on market right here, and then up at the top, this is the percentage of what the list price was to what it actually sold for. The next tab over is average price versus sales, sale and sold. Um, so the green is the for sale price, um, and then you can actually see the sold price, the average sold price for that month. Uh, so you can kind of see the disparity here between what's selling and what it's being listed for. Then if you want to see the month of inventory, this will basically show you for the entire Albuquerque area how many months of inventory, and this is based off of closed sales, if you wanted to see um, off of pended sales, you could do that. If you wanted to see it as a percentage, um, an absorption rate, it'll basically show you that. So a really cool new tool that'll help you um, beef up your CMAs and it'll help you provide better information, statistical information uh, for your clients. If you have any questions, you're always free to email me at brandon.wells at cobaltbankerlegacy.com. Thanks and I hope you have a great day.